thanks to the huge success of the channel, it has um, come to my attention that I'm actually starting to run out of space, even on the Unraid system. So I've decided to dedicate this video in the shopping and production of a True Dad server. Um, I'm sure by now you trust that I can use a spreadsheet, so I won't bore you with that. Um, I will quickly just go through the parts. Unfortunately, the motherboard didn't fit into the Be Quiet case that I already had. However, I already had a branded board at the Asus Z10PA D8 board, which is actually a good board. I paid, I believe I paid a, um, possibly more. I'm not sure. I did find an old receipt, so I'm not 100% sure on how much I paid for it, but I'm going to guess in this section of the video. 430 but I do quote 700 in the video but I'll quickly go through the parts okay so the board didn't fit into the case the RAM there was just nothing nothing special there it's um for the purpose of the video I did just get the 2133 however um if you're going to shop for a, a CPU for the server it doesn't actually require a lot of cores so there is actually um potentially better deals out there and it would have worked perfectly well with the E5 2637 v3 for example uh, the power supply i had this is a failed power supply uh, kept tripping out due to the 3090 transient spikes i blame the power supply not the graphics card uh, samsung part would have a reliable um, ssd for the operation system which will be true nas i install true nas onto that that's going to install my linux mint that would be managing the files and whatnot and i'll be going through that and my evo i've got four of those that's my work storage You'll see that in the video, the Seagate, that's six of those. No, yeah, I only brought six, not eight. There we go, put the price down. And the Big Quiet case is a case that I already have and I was really looking forward to uh, this motherboard going in there, but that didn't obviously work. CPU cooler, just a generic cooler. And fans actually brought, oh, I had them basically on hand anyway. Um, yeah, this has basically been a, for the success of the channel. So I'm running out of space and I'll be first doing a build, then I'll be doing a video from very easy, from the software side, from downloading the software to installing it on your NAS and to setting up your NAS for a true scale. Um, yeah, hopefully I look forward to seeing you for that. Peace. Now let's get to the build. Okay, today we're gonna build um, well, essentially a true NAS server. And I'll go over all the parts as quickly as I can. So we've got a, yep. This would reflect on what I brought in the shopping list. However, I do have the version three. If you're gonna buy this on AliExpress, the version four is about 130, actually it's less than 130 AU. As you see, eight sticks of RAM. This is, um, the RAM is rated at 20, 133 and it does have your um, your parity module we've got eight sticks of RAM for this we're using the well let's just call it the x99 f8d motherboard I mean I could try and pronounce that Hunter but yeah okay so this is basically going to be the motherboard of the true NAS server um, yeah we're just going to call it the x99 f8d over here we've got the Seasonic power supply. Now the reason why I have this, this was originally was in my gaming system. Um, however, I don't know, like I had the issue with the 3090 um, tripping out the power supply. So Seasonic, unfortunately, man, I've got to tell you, it's, it's like I hear a lot of good stuff about them, you know, but unfortunately if it doesn't work in my system, yeah, it's not a feature, it's a bug. You know, you have somebody with the 500 watt AliExpress power supply. Um, and they're having no problems with their 3090, although why you'd pair the two is beyond me, but anyway. Um, but hopefully it'll still be good enough for this. And these are my hard drives. So I'm running six um, four terabyte hard drives. And for the SSD, I'm gonna be running four of these. I'm gonna to attempt to edit off the server. So this, the advantage here would be I'd have one drive redundant. So if one fails, I still have the other three um, doing the job. And with that advantage, as opposed to what I'm doing now, is I'll just have a single drive. So if it fails, well, it fails. And um, we've got a, just a couple of, um, yeah, Cool Master coolers. Important. 
And we're gonna go into my Be Quiet case. This is the um, Be Quiet 900 Revision 2. And what I wanna do with this channel is uh, put a, if possible, put a bit of pressure on Be Quiet is to make a case with 24, um, 3.5 bays in it. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a long way before that, so. Reason why I like Be Quiet so much is I actually, it's mainly because of their drive cradles. The drive cradles. And if we can put, well, no. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so what I like about Be Quiet is basically the drive cradles. Um, you put your hard drive here, uh, your, your hard drive, you touch it here, and there's no actual solid um, metal to metal point, so it has nice cushion. So if it vibrates a little bit, this should be able to absorb, well, a lot of the vibrations, and hence, in theory, is to make it more reliable. Unfortunately, this is the biggest um, case that can fit the most hard drives from Be Quiet so far. And either then, we still have to cheat a little bit. I'll get to that in a second. All right, let's get some building happening. First, we're going to move these. Try and do this in a sp speed round. There we go. I swear I've done this before. <laughs> All right, we're going to take off the protective cover. Let's see if we can get a really clean shot. All right, we've got a really good close-up of the socket. Here we've got a, a V3 variant, yeah, which is 12 core, 24 threads. But if you're gonna buy this, get the um, V4 because they're very cheap at the moment. All right, we've got the triangle. I'm gonna find the triangle on the CPU. There we go. And we're just gonna nicely, nicely plug it in there. Thank you. Man, I did not do a good job there. Give a bit of wriggle. Let's see. Triangle there, triangle there. We we'll call that mission accomplished. Mm. We've already given it a little wiggle. We're gonna carefully place this down. Look at that, very nice. I'd be happy with that. Next step I'd go is definitely the RAM. We have a parity module there. Other stick of RAM, just gonna go. You notice that I might have spun it around, so just check the RAM, it's pretty easy to do, but you'd go with the lines and whatnot. Okay, ram in. Now we're going to put our cooler on. Just take note that this is, um, depending on your cooler, you, it's pretty basic. But for this one, these actually needed to go in. I wouldn't put a massive amount of torque on any of these, so I would do them, you know, nip them up, but. Honestly, I reckon hand tight is perfectly fine. And we're going to zoom in on one of the CPUs because we're going to apply a bit of coolant. Now, despite it being 12 cores, it's still... And we just applied a bit of Arctic Silver. Yeah, 
And here we are, we trust the spatula. Let's get that out of the underway. In the Arctic Silver, I wouldn't worry too much about overdoing the paste. So if you need to put more on, it should be fine. It's just going to make a big mess when you're trying to remove the CPU. Yeah, I'll call that good enough. So let's make sure that the writing is orientation. Not that I really think it makes a difference, but it's gonna go a bit of a mush. Call that mission accomplished. Okay, cool is more or less that's on its way to coming on. I'll just when tightening this up, I'd actually recommend a bit of a crisscross pattern. Beautiful. All right, coolers installed in the correct orientation. Now I need to decide where I want to put my OS. M.2 here, that'll be for my Linux Mint. M.2 here, that'll be for the actual um, true NAS scale operating system. You got the six ports here, that'll be for my mass storage and the black that would be for my fast work storage. So that'll be um, SSDs, that would be the mechanical hard drive. All right, just a recap. See, so everything's on. Hard drives, no problem. Also got the hard drives done. Just be quick labeling with the serial number. So if one dies, I'll definitely know where it is. Right now, we're going to put it all in the case. See Sonic Power. First move is to get rid of this. I don't know. Like, I get the aesthetics of it, but every other function, it's a, such a pain in the backside, i got to tell you. We won't be needing that anymore. Alrighty. Just going to start our build. Oh man, you guys are going to love this. So, in all my enthusiasm, put it in here for, I finally better check that to make sure that the motherboard will fit in. And really, not to my surprise, be quiet as you... A lot of you make really good cases, but my goodness, would it have killed you to make it like, you know, maybe 10 centimeters longer, 100 mil? This is literally the biggest case that I have, and this motherboard fits in virtually every other case that I have, except for be quiet. Fortunately, I do have a backup plan, and it gives me a chance to talk about my other system. Well, let me introduce you to my Linux workstation, or once was Linux workstation. Dual processor again. This is the E5-2697A. And that they're both uh, 16 core each, which gives the system total of 64 threads to work with. 980Ti. The hard drive SSD and it is when running Linux and uh, this ran perfectly fine eight lanes RAID 0 and that was the yeah well the WD black I think it's 1500 and this system was working very well but now I have to gutter it so I can complete the server because be quiet cannot make a case that is 10 centimeters longer to accommodate what I think is in a reasonable size board for the size of the case. Not salty at all. Yep, was right, the 1500. You see eight PCI lanes. This is, if you're stuck on gen three, this is about as fast as I could recommend for a hard drive. It does run a bit hot though. You know, I have a saying, the money's always right, but I've got to tell you, between the board and the CPUs, this just ain't right. 
So the purpose of building the server was to try and do it with, um, well, cheap generic parts, I suppose, but um, wasn't the board's fault. It would have worked. So we're going to use a proper Asus board, and I forget how much I paid for this. I think I paid like somewhere maybe 600, 700 AU for the board. Oof. And anyway, you'll see it. Da da, just like that. The twenty six eighty V threes are in here. Another board. So one thing I will say about this board, which I did find kind of annoying, is you have yet eight PCIe slots, but it starts in other order. So you got your one, two, three, four, five, and so on. However, if you occupy these you lose half of this. So you have your two 16s, but instead of making these ones the redundant, they made the top ones redundant. So you you put a graphics card in here, a full graphics card, and you decide to put your network card up there, you lose half your lanes for your graphics card. Fortunately, I'm not using a graphics card because this is actually, well, yeah, going on to a server. Alrighty. Look at that, fit in there, no problem. I can even use the grommets on the side. Be quiet, come on, let's, let's. I think as a community, we're gonna to work together. We're gonna to convince Be Quiet that it's in the best interest, financially, obviously, not anything crazy, to make larger cases. We want server cases. Zero Slack server, every single SADA port is occupied. And this is the first time ever that I ever wrote about noise. Um, leaking from cable to cable, I'm sure it'll be fine. Apart from that, I'll call this mission accomplished. Time to properly put it together and let's get the software installed. This is the result of cable management as somebody who set out to do a very diligent job, nice and thorough, conscientious, and basically got bored about 35 seconds in. And this is the end result. No problem though. Anyway, that concludes the build part of this video. I'm going to give this server a claim and I'm going to install True Dad Scale on this video. If you like the video and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe it and don't forget to push the like button. Peace! Absolutely love rocking this shirt. Nice um, render of a well, DRAM module. However, unlike the shirt, this is what a ECC or oh, error correcting code, um, eight gigabyte memory module looks like. As you see here, this is your um, parity chip. And basically the, what that does is it adds up the zeros and ones. And um, if there's any like um, discrepancy in the data, it'll go through a sequence to correct the um, code. So if there's been a bit flip from uh, any solar event or whatnot, this is basically what this takes care of. Generic cheap RAM actual ECC memory. Nice.